Hey guys and welcome to the final part of our journey to Snake Pass. We've been out for about half an hour traveling to get there, but we should be there pretty soon. And it is my second time going through Snake Pass, but the first time I didn't have a mic on. So it'd be cool to go with you guys through there together. If you watch the other parts, you'll know that we are heading to Glossop. That's kind of where we're going to enter Snake Pass. And I'm really looking forward to it because the first time it was really nice. The weather's actually nicer this time and I'm hoping the road will be a little quieter but I'm not too sure. Because when we went before I'm pretty sure it was Saturday afternoon so that's going to be one of the busiest times. Let's see, let's see if it's still busy. And I love coming out on these rides because I get to make these videos. I also get to practice my gears because I am working towards getting my full license so it's all good practice especially considering my first bike was automatic so it's great to uh, be able to practice the gears before I do my direct access scheme which I'm planning to do this year and then we can get the full license get the bigger engine and go on some more adventures and if you want to support the channel all you need to do is subscribe, it really helps uh, and also if you like the video that helps as well uh, it's uh, really appreciated uh, that's all I ask, So all I ask of you guys uh, and yeah it'll really help, help me out, keep me motivated just keep helping to grow the channel it has, I'm sure Google Maps has taken me on a different route than last time to get to Glossop and get into Snake Pass and I'm not complaining because this is a beautiful route, like it's so nice. I'm sure the route last time was nice as well, but this seems like, yeah, really good. Right, look at that view guys, you can see like for miles. So yeah, we're actually getting pretty close now, about seven minutes away. I can see a town up there. Which 